Abelkuta, one of Nigeria's oldest cities, a treasure island of cultural ethos, a choice destination for tourists and the home of authentic African designs, simply known as Adire. Adire is a sparsely dyed cloth produced and worn by the Yoruba people of southwestern Nigeria in West Africa. The Yoruba word literally means a material that has been tied and dyed. Unlike other fabrics popular to Nigerians, Adire is steeped in history and culture. <laughs> As old as I am, Adire has been existing before I was born. And I thank God that our mother's taught us, with dedication and patience, we were able to learn it. That is why today we have the knowledge of it to hand over to our children, and we pray it never goes extinct. In the early days, this wasn't how tie and dye started. It wasn't popular when we were younger and had to be produced discreetly. Eventually, it was opened up to others who wanted to learn. While Adire making and trading is now done in several other places in Nigeria, Kemta Adire Market remains one of the largest in West Africa. From different parts of the nation, people come to these markets to buy the textile and even from outside the country. You would often hear people call this the home of Adire, and they would be right. Back then, there were very few Adire traders, but now there are over 800 in this market alone. Even with the expansion of the market, we still make profits. We take care of our children from the proceeds. This craft, which turns ordinary materials into flamboyant traditional styles, serves as an indigenous entrepreneurship venture passed from one generation to another, usually in the care of women. Adira is a trade I learned from my parents, and even my children learned from me, because it's a family business. I'm from the family of Jojo Lola, the second Yalo day in Egba land, where Adira was discovered. In the early days, only those from the Jojololas family were allowed to learn and practice the arts. But a quick glance at the market will show how drastically that has changed. One can also tell that women have remained the caretakers of this business that was once a well-guarded secret. 80% of the work here is done by women, if you, as you can see. We have men, but there are very few men. This work is basically women work. It's now that you see some men, maybe five out of 100 men that do this. So it's women work, because most of our women now, we support the family most. So that's why his women work. You can to see a man inside this our work is very weird. Like many things in life, Adire has had to evolve. In those days, there was just one dye, and the Adire took a long time to produce. 
But in recent times, we have different colors that can be produced even in a day, which wasn't available when I was younger. In those days, it was Kaliko that was used to work. But now we use different materials from all over, regardless of the cost. We also have several designs now which people can buy. This has really helped the market to grow. For many, Adire's appeal lies majorly in the mystery behind how it is made. We have traditional and the modern. This is traditional, and that one is modern. So we use us cold water to do to prepare this one, which that one is hot water. So this is the one they do in the old days, like my great grandmother are doing before I started doing it now. So this one, my brother have to design it before I dye it. As in, we used to dye it four times. So the first one, I'll first put it inside the dye, I'll spread it. So when it get dry, I'll put it again. So four times. After the four times, the thing is going to dark, like that one you are looking there. So I'll put it inside the water. So I have to remove the design. I'll remove the design. So after then, we spread it and give it to the owner. But it doesn't end or even begin with dyeing. The process of making a direct textile involves sorting of the fabric, tying the fabric, dyeing, drying, planking, and packing before they are sewn into gorgeous designs. As a descendant of the Jojolola family that discovered Adire, Bola Tito prides herself as a mistress of some sort in the craft. There is no difference between Adire and Kampala. Adire also means Kampala. What we mean by Adire is what we tie and die. But the modern name is Kampala. There is no much different in it. There is no even different. But we have different type of Adire. We have batik, we have tie and dye, we have uh, hand design, we have pattern me. What we mean by batik is candle work. That means wax. These are samples of batik. It can come in different pattern and different design. This is batik. This is another batik. For this one, is hand made and design. Why this one is pattern? So these are called batik. They can come in different designs and different colors. She, like many of the women here, have dedicated their life to the business and continue to reap from it. But new challenges arise. This China product, they will come and pick our design and do it, like this one now. This one is China product. They will take our design and do it like this. But this one can wash. It doesn't have guarantee. It may look fine, but it can wash. Now we have a lot of challenges, though, not even the copycat. We have the problem of our material, because there is no textile industry in Nigeria. All these clothes, we import it and give us problems. Like all these custom problems that they normally give us a lot of problems because we don't have textile industry in Nigeria. I don't even think we have textile industry in Nigeria. Maybe it will be even much lesser, much avoidable for people to buy. Still, one thing has continued to aid the prosperity of this Asian craft. <laughs> In this business, everyone has a part to play. 
There are those that will make the adire and bring it to us in shops to sell. This helps us women a lot as we can then share our time properly between our family and business. For this, the women remain grateful to their ancestors for this treasure called Adire, as it has enabled them not only provide for themselves, but for their families. With the continuous renewal of ideas, products and production processes, this craft has been transformed into an innovative enterprise which can last the ever-changing tide that is life. Thank you.